Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. Now, what's actually kind of interesting, because last night, I had a dream that uh, there was a bunch of dirt, right, in this, like, moss grill, moss mat deal. And I picked up, like, this ball of clay dirt, you know, whatever you want to call it, and there was, like, big old nuggets inside of it. And so it kind of wanted yeah. me, kind of wanted to play uh, some Gold Rush. So that's what we're going to be doing. As always... Tin Man is with me, so how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing, sir? Well, wishing my dream was true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, these were big O nuggets, too. Like, you know, um, uh, what would be almost like a, a size of a, uh, like a poker card, you know? Like, just... A poker chip? Well, no, like, like a play card? Poker okay. playing card? Like, just massive and it's like man if i would have found that in real life that would be you know awesome fantastic you had to do that in australia i had to do that somewhere but anyway it wasn't true i woke up and it was uh like 30 degrees in my house and uh if if you guys don't know why that is it's because my wife is uh senile at 24 and she's always hot he is married to you well i've yeah. yeah, it's my fault. Oh, anyway, Mr. Tin Man, because I haven't to told you or uh, the YouTube channel uh, this week. So today is the 14th of, uh, of December, 14th of December. And uh, yep. I guess we finally found out that everything is not everything's going to be fixed on the house. It's just not going to happen. So what's going to be happening is they're going to fix the roof and the electrical. They've already agreed to that. And apparently they're going to fix the water heater, even though I've already said that I was going to just buy a new one. But whatever. whatever. They're just going to put a new valve on it. Yep, they're going to put a new valve now. on it and uh, call her good. Well, it's okay. I, I talked to my wife and said, you know what, I'll probably just buy a new one because whatever. Then I know it's new and I don't have to worry about it. So then I was told yesterday by my realtor, which I am still on the fence of whether or not, you know, I like her or not, which, you know, more of uh, I don't like her. Um, still on the fence. But uh, she said that we could be closing this month near the end. That is good. And it, it's good and it's not good at the same time. It's good because, you know, I mean, they we're moving on. But it's not good because then I won't have time. I won't have time to paint and do everything I want to do. So... It's gonna it's gonna be rushed. Um, painting is definitely one of the more important things, just because then it's fresh and everything. I thought you can still <laughs> close, but you don't have to move into it. You can still stay where you're at for. Well, that's the a thing. Month. I don't want to pay rent and a house payment at the same time. So living and painted at the same time. Well, I'm gonna have to do something. Hopefully. So if it closes at the end of the, uh, of December, then I have January to paint the house, which, I mean, I have, uh... I uh, have, you have heat inside, it'll help. Yeah, my grandparents, they're gonna help, I guess. My brother's wife's gonna help, and maybe my brother. So, I mean, we have, uh, a few people. My wife can't necessarily help. Of course, she will help. But she can't necessarily help just because she's, you know, working six days a week. So you can't, like, oh, yeah, well, I demand you to, you know, help me paint, because, I mean, that's... That's ridiculous. But, uh... Why not? I mean, I could. Won't get anywhere, but, uh... Well, it's just like you. If you get off of work and you got, like, three, four hours during the evening after both of you are off, you could paint a room. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what we're planning on, too. So, I mean... Then we have to pack up all of our stuff and then move it over. So, I mean, it's, it's just going to be busy. So, you know, I, I wanted to tell everybody this because with all this being said, I don't know how YouTube is going to be fitting into the time frame. Um, it's going to be interesting. You so have to do a little vlog or something. Progress report. You're going to have to do something, you know, um, just because... It, it takes a lot of time to make five videos. You know, it really does. Edit, record, all that. It takes, it takes a lot of time. So with that being said, it's going to be interesting to, to fill it in, you know. And then I'm going to have to tear down the setup. And I'm going to have to set it back up. Fight the, <laughs> fight the technology again. And uh, do all that fun stuff. 
So it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. But yeah, I, d I just want to keep you guys all up to date, just because. Um, I will tell you guys if you know as soon as it happens, or as soon as we're starting moving and stuff like that. But I uh, just want to say, you know, like if it once it does happen, you know, I may or may not have a lot of videos five days a week. I'll try to have like two or one or something, you know, but. But, yeah, that's a good idea. Have, like, an update vlog thing. Show the house out and stuff like that. Who knows? Progress report. Progress report. Yeah. It's like we're in school. Yeah. So, another thing is, is that uh, I don't think Stranded Teep is going to happen this week either. Um... Because uh, my brother, so I gave him the Bluetooth, and uh, that, that's how, you know, we can t communicate and stuff like that. Well, he's lost it. He, he don't know where he put it. So, or or the baby grabbed it and took off with it. Who knows? It, it's somewhere, hopefully. So. He got by the dog. Or, or the dog ate it. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So, at this point, Strategy Deep is going to be put on the back burner. I guess my brother is going to buy a new one. So, of course, with, with the holidays coming around and stuff like that, it may be a while before they It'll get be it. Near. It'll be the new year. Probably. So, with all that fun stuff, uh, just another... If it ain't one thing, it's another. I mean, ain't that the truth? One thing, it's another. Just a little hi hiatus. Yeah, a little hiatus. And uh, maybe they, it gets more stable, you know. Uh, right now, it, it's not unstable, but it's not stable either there's a little bit more time to work on it that's right so it just things happening let me tell you a lot of things <laughs> a lot of things are happening my my life has been so daggum hectic lately it's blessing in disguise it's insane it's insane i'm told that buying a house is an absolute fantastic thing to do investment wise and stuff like that going through it i wish i never did <laughs> biggest daddy it has been a giant headache. You know, I mean, like, uh, let me throw numbers at you, 15 billion numbers at you, and you try to m figure out what one makes sense, okay? I mean, that's that's pretty much what I'm we've been doing. Account. And it's like, oh, my goodness. And then they, you know. You they, know I did fail grade 10 math, right? <laughs> I, I didn't know that either, but, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy because they tell you how much you're, you can pay. They tell you how much everything. They tell you what you can do, and it's like, but I do the bills, and it's like, no, no, I tell you how much you can pay, how much you think you can pay, how much you are going to pay, and why. Well, I make you're sure that that's taken care of. That's your main priority. That's right. That's right. So, Weird. How'd you miss that? I, I, I missed it because I can, sir. I missed my buoy. I'm fishing, of course. No, of course you are. You better be recording, too, you know. If I press the button. Gee whiz. Come on. So I'm in the good dirt again, but I'm on, like, this little hump. And so I have to fight the hump. Fight no way to say yet. I know it's not Wednesday, but gotta fight the hump. How much? How much dirt is in that? Ninety-six. Let's just tear down. What wall do I want to tear down? Let's tear down. Let's tear down. Right there. The Winter Pretty Olympics are coming up, right? It's twenty twenty-two yep. soon. Yep. And that means your hockey is gonna be in. Oh, well, it's actually kind of interesting too because uh, our president boycotted the. The Olympics or something, rather, I heard. Yeah. Yeah, they're not funding the team to go there. So that's going to be interesting. I heard China's all butthurt about it, so. <sighs> interesting. It, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of NHL players going to it. It's, it's going to be interesting, one way or another. Because you could be another. stuck there for five weeks. Or you could be stuck if there you, forever. If, if you test positive, you could be there for, yeah, five weeks. Quarantine. 
just all crazy. All is crazy. Everything's all fueled you're, up. If you're an NHL player, you're not going to get paid salary while you're there for five weeks. I don't know, man. I don't know. If, if I knew what was going on, I'd be a absolute rich man, but I don't, so I'm not. Right? Yep. We're the hard workers. All I do is I go to work, play with the, the leech eight, and go home. That, that's all I do. I was asked the other day at work. I was asked why I do leachate only, and I said, I have not a clue. <laughs> I have no idea. I was, as soon as I got my tanker endorsement, they said, okay, this is what you're going to be doing. That's it. I said, okay. So, that's what I do. They wanted somebody reliable? Well, it's not a they just, they needed, they needed somebody to do it. And I was the only one that, uh, I guess, would or fit the bill or, or what they wanted so that's what I do all day is I fill up the tanker I drive to the sewer plant and I empty the tanker and then I turn around and do it all over again five to well, they, they feel confident in your abilities so yeah like I said it's not it's not the worst job in the world it, it gets boring after a while because you see the the same thing and so what I do is I uh the, the, so there's cows right in front of the uh, the sewer plant, and so I named the cows. And and as far as I could tell, there's only one bull, or there was one bull there, and he was a brown cow, not red like a red Angus. He was he was more brown, so I named him Brownie. And uh, as soon as you know, we started getting good friends. You know, like uh, we never really talked or nothing, but uh, you know, I drove past like ten times a day. So and I was like, hey, Brownie. Well, the uh, last Saturday they came by and they took Brownie, and I was I was really really distraught. Sad. I didn't know what to do. Your friend was gone. My friend was gone. So now there's a there's a cow, and she has uh so she's all black with like a white face, and uh, I named her Oreo. Again, not my cow. <laughs> it's just it's just. What I do, I mean, there's there's not much else to do. So what we do to amuse ourselves? Oh, literally. I mean, it's it's pretty all insane, isn't it? All mine. What do we do to amuse ourselves? Is name cows? That's not ours. Uh huh. Oh, and then hey, it lightens your day up. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh yeah. A few weeks ago, I can't remember if it was last week or. Or what? Or I, I probably even told this story. I'm not even sure. But I was pulling out of the sewer plant for the last trip. And this woman, had, like, parked the car in the driveway. You know, like, and, and no one's supposed to be there except authorized, you know, personnel, I guess, yeah. technically. But So she's sitting at the end of the driveway. And all you could see is, like, just big puffs of, uh, like, smoke from the car. I'm like, oh, great, fantastic. And she's, so I, I drive up, and, and she walks up to the truck, and she's like, oh, am I in the way? And I'm like, no, no, you are uh, directly in the way. You know, uh, there's no <laughs> there's no in the way here. You know, I, I take up the whole road to uh, to turn here. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of the way. Uh, my, my car won't start. And I'm like... Okay, you know, like, why? I just pushed it with your truck. <laughs> and and uh, so she's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll push it out of the way. And I'm like, well, here, I'll help you, you know, whatever. Get out of my way faster. And, uh, and and so she puts it in neutral, not a big deal, and she and she's walking, or, or, and, we're, and we're pushing the car, and she gets back in the car, and she's like, oh, thank you so much for helping me. I was like, oh, not a problem. Well, I look on the dash... You know, because normally that'll normally it'll tell you you know if something's wrong, and the fuel light is on or the gas light's on. Yeah, and uh, and it's fuel. and it's directly on E, like you know E E, and I'm like um, 
does your gas gauge work? And she's like, well, what do you mean? I said, I mean, it sounds pretty self-explanatory. Does the gas gauge work? She's like, yeah. And I said, I think you're out of gas. And she goes, oh, no, that light just came on. And I'm like, well, it's not good for a car to be ran out of gas, you know. It's not. It's definitely not good for a semi either. But uh, you know, no. it's not. It's not good for a car to run out of gas. So well, that's not good. Anything diesel, because then you get air and everything. You got to bleed all of it. Yep, yep. Especially on a piece of equipment. So, so she's like, "Oh no, the, the light just came on. Not a big deal." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." She's like, uh, "I just live up the hill," and she's like, "Can I just park the car here and then, and then?" Uh, you know, so, uh, we'll, we'll move the car in like half an hour. I'm like, okay, whatever. She's like, do you work here? And I go, no. <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay. So can you uh, can you call them and, and say that we're I'm going to be sitting here for a bit, but I'll move the car? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, I don't have the sewer plant's number. And uh, so I pushed the car out of the way and, and left. And she's like, oh, yeah, thank you. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And uh, so so she she gets back in the car. I get in the semi, and, you know, I drive away. And and uh, I think to myself, like, I don't have any way of calling these people to say, like, oh, hey, there's a car sitting at the end of the driveway. Mm-hmm. So I just, like, drive off, and, and about an hour later I come back. And she's gone. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. Never seen her since. Either she got some gas or got towed out of there. Supposedly, she said that it was her battery, but I couldn't think of, like, why Why would it be the battery? Because it wasn't a manual. It was an automatic. So you can't kill the car, you know. It was trying to turn over, but it wasn't running. Well, like, she, it was running to get where she was, but it didn't make sense of why the car died. You know, she's like, oh, no, it's my battery. The wires are all screwed up. And it's like, if it was, then you wouldn't, you know, you would think that the car wouldn't turn on to get here. I'm like, I think you're out of gas. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. I think you're out of gas. No, 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 no. The the it, the light just came on, and I'm like, what, two days ago? You know, like, whatever. Yeah, she figured, oh, I had a little bit more time before that light come on. I told my uh, wife. Sorry. One hundred percent. I told my wife. I said, I don't care what you do. I said, I don't care if you're the busiest person in the world. I don't care. Do not. Quarter tank. Do not let that gas gauge get under quarter tank. Period. I don't care. You know, whatever. I'll go get gas. I, I, I don't care. Right. She's like, okay. So she fills it up about half tank. Unless, you know, like, she's doing something or whatever, and then maybe a little bit below half tank. No big deal. I was like, I don't care what you do. Just don't let it go under quarter tank. Because then you could have, like, a fuel fuel pickup issue and shit like that. And it's like, I don't want to pay for that. Could be something floating in your tank. Pick it up off the bottom. Yep, yep. So I'm like, don't, don't do that. I mean, plus my car, right? So I, I uh, 2015 Toyota Corolla. Absolutely love that car. It's the funnest thing to drive in the world. It's my, uh, it's my race car, uh-huh. you know. I drive a my pickup, and then I drive semis all day. So when I get in that thing, I'm like on the ground, and that thing corners like like a knife through butter. It's just fantastic. Love the car to death, and. Yeah, she don't like when I drive either, because she's like, you drive crazy, and it's like, no, I don't drive crazy, it's called, you know, I can drive fast, and that's why it's crazy. I'm just blowing out the carbon. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you know, just blowing out the carbon, nothing nothing too dangerous about that. 200... You you she babies it, so you gotta blow the carbon out. Well, she babies it because she don't drive, you know, so it's like, someone's gotta freaking do something. But I baby my truck, too, because, you know, my my fuel tank's like 28 gallons, 26, 28, 30 gallons, somewhere in there. And so when I fill up, it's like 60 bucks. And when she fills up, it's like 20. And it's like, man, must be nice. 
But her, her the car's gas tank is 13.6 gallons, and that's completely empty. I'm like, shit. You could get two full tanks to my half tank. Yep. Sometimes there's a reserve tank in there, too, that if you are in dire need, it's like an extra five liters of fuel or something like that to get you 30 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. When it goes down to E, you have a, that, that little window, and that's what that lady was probably relying on. Oh, it didn't come on yet, and then when it did, it was already bone dry. Yeah, who knows? I mean, it was it was trying to start over. It just or turn over. It just wouldn't wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. But looky yeah, there, we feeling. finally hit a thousand. Three episodes late to when I thought I was gonna hit it, but we finally hit a thousand. <laughs> finally hit a thousand, and we're finally in good dirt too. So that's that's good too. Oh, time. Now I don't know what to do. Do I want to just keep saving the gold until the end of the season, or or what? I don't know. Do you need the money? Well, I got ninety four thousand in the bank. If you need it, sell it. No, keep it. Oh, well, guess that's done. I did do. I think it was seventy thousand dollars of magnetite, and I got four thousand ounces of magnetite left. So I don't think I need my or money. No, you go sell your magnet then. The rest of it. Let's see. We'll just put that over here, I guess. Who knows? Who knows what I'll do? Geez, there's buckets everywhere. This is a pigsty. <laughs> run it over them. I run over them, step on them, break them, crunch them, everything. Eh, we're doing all right. If we can hit 1,100, it'd be about 130 ounces or so. Don't think it's going to happen. We need 10 more ounces. It's going up super yeah, slow. I haven't played it since. Oh, you're since kidding. I didn't want to save my video. 130 ounces. I think that has something to do with your button, sir. Yeah, I think so, too. Because one. pressing it once takes a screenshot. Two is to save it. Or to bring up the menu to save it. So I got 130 ounces. So that's not bad. Not bad for, you know, still in the middle of good and bad dirt. So I got 1,099 ounces. Or, well, actually, technically, 1,099.651 ounces. So I was 0.4 flipping ounces off. So close. Like, that's... That's nothing. 0. 0.4 ounces. That's nothing. I don't know how many you grams... You get that out of a half a bucket. Literally. Well, let's see. Right here's where we are. Gold map. This is where all the gold is. If you went and filled up one bucket... I'd get dumped it. it through your hog pan... What's in the mats would probably give you that, too. <laughs> probably, but I ain't worried about it. So all this is gold here. I need to open this mouth here just a little bit. But I'm finally in it. So if I can keep digging here until the edge of this and then cut that out. What is that gold there? Let's see. Not a lot. <laughs> like trash. Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe That's I'll, why you did it that way, because it was crappy dirt there. Yeah, maybe I'll have to cut this corner to make it this bigger, but there's that hill there, right? Yeah, this hill's here. Man, I love how you can, like, break your neck through the dirt and see everything. So we'll have to come in. Vision. Exactly. We'll have to come in. Prop, yeah, we're going to have to take this wall down just a little bit, but... Anyway, that'll be in the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for liking, commenting, subscribing. Like I said, we're about 614 subscribers right now, so absolutely fantastic. And uh, But, yeah, since it's the 14th, and uh, you'll be getting this probably on the 21st-ish, happy holidays. And uh, 
like I said, if you want to tell me uh, what what holiday you celebrate, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Tin Man. Have a great day, everyone. And you all, take care.